Hi friends, this is Muhammad Gibran and welcome to our C language tutorials. In the previous video, we have seen the uh, algorithm and the program for FCFS and in this video, we are going to look on the SJF or uh, shortest job for studying al algorithm. The other name for SJF is uh, SPN which means shortest process next. So what does shortest job first means? As the name suggests, you can guess it. Well, let me give you an uh, brief definition of the SJF. It is a non-primitive discipline in which waiting job or processes with the smallest smallest estimated time to be executed will be run next. In other words, when CPU is available, it is assigned to the process that has smallest next CPU burst time or the execution time. The SGF scheduling is especially appropriate for batch jobs for which the run times are known in advance. Since the SGF scheduling algorithm gives the minimum average time for a sh given set of processes, it is prob probably the optimal. The SGF algorithm favors short jobs or processes that the expense of uh, longer ones. No, it's better to uh, use this uh, SGF when we have small processes than the bigger processes because it, it will always be favoring the smaller processes. The obvious problem with SGF scheme is that it requires precise knowledge of how long a job or process will run and uh, this information is not usually available. So that's a problem some in some cases. So most of the time uh, it's a problem in SGF. The best SGF algorithm can do is to rely on user estimate of run times. But uh, in the production environment where the same jobs run regularly, we can go for SGF. But in the development environment where users, uh, where the processes have different execution time or the burst times, then this type of algorithm will be somewhat uh, difficult to determine how much burst time a particular process will be taking. Like FCFS, SGF is non-primitive. Therefore, it is not useful in time sharing environments in which reasonable response time must be guaranteed. Uh, we will be seeing what to do in the time sharing environment, which algorithm we need to do use in the time sharing environment in the uh, upcoming videos. We'll have a uh, different video for that. But over here, again, we have our uh, uh, same problem which we had in the FCFS. We are again having three processes, P1, P2, P3, with the burst times 5, 3, and 2. But here the uh, algorithm we are using is SGF that is we will be executing the shortest job first. So according to the burst times the first job which came into the process is P1. But if we are going for SGF then the first job which should be getting executed is P3. Why? Because its burst time is smaller than other processes. So we uh, want to execute the shortest job. So this job is the shortest, so we will be executing P3 first. Once P3 is ex uh, fi finished, then we'll be, having, we'll be left with these two processes. In that, the P2 process is having the uh, next shortest time or the burst time. So we will be executing P2. And after that, we'll be executing P5. Let's see uh, how these uh, processes gets executed. So first, as I told you, P3 started executing and after 2 seconds, our uh, P3 will be stopped. Okay, It has executed completely. So the waiting time for P3 is 0 seconds. Even though it came last in the queue, but still it's getting executed first. Why? Because it's SJF. Now, we'll be going for the next shortest job, that is P2. So now let's put P2 in the queue. and. Uh, the P2 will start executing over here uh, as the P2 is getting executed it takes 3 seconds to get executed so the waiting time for P2 is 2 seconds why because the execution time of P3 was 2 seconds now the third job that is P1 we are left with P1 so now let's start uh, P1 and uh, let's execute our uh, last process in the queue. The burst time or the execution time of P1 process is 5 seconds. So it will be taking 5 seconds to uh, get completely executed. Once this 5 uh, seconds are completed or milliseconds are completed, then we'll be having a complete Gantt chart for our SJF for this table. 
now as you can see the burst time or the waiting time of p3 process is 0 second the waiting time of p2 because uh, first of all the p3 was getting executed for 2 seconds once it stopped executing or when it's finished executing then our p2 got into the processor and it started executing so p2 had to wait 2 seconds to start its execution once it started it again took some 3 seconds to complete its execution it took 5 seconds for completing its execution so this 5 will be the waiting time for p1 p1 has to wait 5 seconds to start its execution once it started execution it took again five, uh, 5 seconds to complete its execution uh, in our uh, previous case first process which got executed was p1 then p2 then p3 but here we are executing in a reverse order it's not about the order it's about the burst times it's uh, happening because of the burst times we are executing the uh, shortest job first and then we are going for the uh, bigger one so if you see it again then you can see first we get uh, the process 3 in our processor once the process 3 gets executed completely then we go for process 2 the pr second process is getting executed why because the burst time of this process is smaller than the p1 process once we are done with the p2 process then we go into the p1 process which is the which has the highest uh, burst time in our table or in our process list so when we are done with all the three processes then our execution of this uh, process table will be completed and the average waiting time will be 0 plus 2 plus 5 the waiting time of p3 plus waiting time of p2 plus waiting time of p1 by number of processes that is 3 so the average waiting time is 2.33 seconds in our previous video the average waiting time was 4.33 in FCFS for the same problem we got the waiting time as 4.33 but over here we got the waiting time as 2.33 so as you can see SJF is uh, better than uh, FCFS but it's uh, both of them are not at all good for time sharing environments and for uh, the SJF you need to know the burst time or the completion time of each process which in some cases is not possible you know, in, in rare cases so uh, this was about um, SJF uh, hope you liked the video and uh, thanks for watching it